Next uh, item, please. We're now moving to resolutions. Item H1 is to adopt a resolution in support of the West Contra Costa Unified School District Board of Trustees decision to deny the petition for establishment of Summit Charter School and requesting the Contra Costa County Board of Education to uphold said decision. And we have speakers for this item. All right, this item was put on by um, Council Member Myrick, I think is the, uh, as well as, um, oh, this, see my, yeah. Okay, so this is just from Council Member Myrick, so will you please frame the item for us? Thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, and what I'd like to do to start off uh, framing this item, I actually wanna thank and congratulate uh, my colleagues here on the Council, particularly the ones who are here in uh, 2009 because they took they made a very um, they, they took a risk in 2009 and they made a very tough decision in order to keep John F Kennedy High School open at that time um, and 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 spent uh, 4.5 million dollars of city funds um, over three years in order to keep uh, John F Kennedy High School open now this is a time I was working at the state and you know we the nation was having an economic recession the state was filling that we over the those three years um, cut the state budget by some by tens of billions billions with a B of dollars the school district had to make very 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 tough decisions um, about how they were gonna finance the schools that they already had but because the city council made the decision that they made and spent that 4.5 million dollars to keep Kennedy and and some other schools open um, it was a success and Kennedy survived and in 2012, we found out that the school district was able to finally pay back its debt to the state of California. And then we found out that Kennedy was taken off of the closure list uh, permanently. And then now we find that there was a 45 point increase in API scores from Kennedy students um, from the, for, over the last year. Um, and, and that's the highest of any in, in the school district. We also found out that 87 more kids at Kennedy are chose to take the AP tests. Uh, again, the largest increase of any other school in the district. I say all this to say that $4.5 million investment worked. It was a success. And I just wanna congratulate us all as a community for making it. We're also finding out that um, the Information Technology Academy at Kennedy has been extremely successful and providing a lot. So. I say all that to say, to tell us about the, the challenge uh, that's up ahead. Now, Summit Charter School, which um, has uh, applied for a charter uh, to be placed at the Windbrush uh, uh, location, which is in El Cerrito <coughs> near uh, Del Norte Bart, um, would, um, it's, it's challenging for a number of, of, of issues. And the main thing here is it puts that investment that the city of Richmond already made, it puts that investment at risk. Because the way Windbrush is set up, they expect to have as many as 677 students within their sixth year. Um, of those 677 students, the majority will be high school students. Only, only uh, seventh and eighth grade will be uh, middle school, the rest will be high school. And um, it's expected that that would be split almost in half. Um, um, meaning the students that would go there would be split almost in half between kids who would otherwise go to Kennedy or go to El Cerrito High School, which means you can have up to 200 students that would otherwise have gone to Kennedy now diverted to go to this new charter school, Summit Charter School. Now, Kennedy, even now, even though they're doing better and they're increasing in their enrollment, it still only has 850 or so students that are currently enrolled at Kennedy. If we're in the similar position at the time when this happens and you see a drop of 200 students and you go down to 600 students at Kennedy, there's a good chance that Kennedy will once again be looked at for closure because there's gonna be really tough decisions that will be have to made at the school district level. In addition to that, even if that doesn't happen and they don't close the school, if 200 of the most, um, of, of the most highest performing students from Kennedy leave, you're gonna see a dramatic reduction in funding the students at Kennedy um, because, because a lot of times funding follows the student. So you're gonna see a dramatic reduction of the funds at Kennedy. So regardless of how you cut it, the kids at Kennedy are gonna be a lot worse off um, and possibly closing. So because of all this, so the school board looked at this and what they decided 
was that it was not a good decision to give a charter to Summit uh, Charter School. Um, and, and, and a major reason that they put, um, and, and, and this is extremely important, is that because this school in particular did not have the experience to be culturally competent to understand our uh, diversity in, in this area, um, as well as the fact that um, the transportation options and whatnot were not there to guarantee that the most hardest hit students would actually get a fair shot of, 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 of going to Summit and being successful. Now, um, I want to say here clearly, you know, this item is not about all charter schools. This is not, I know people have strong feelings, you know, on both sides about the issue of charter schools in general. Some people think it's the answer, some people think not so much. That's not what this is about. I understand that there are some charter schools that do great work. Making Waves is a, is a good example. Um, and, and, and I understand that there can be use. But in this one very specific instance, um, you have a situation where if this school opens, you are putting at risk the other students that would that that would have been their peers. You are putting at risk the students that go to Kennedy, and you are putting at risk that $4.5 million investment that the city of Richmond made. And I don't think the people who um, who are pushing some at charter school did that on purpose. I think they're good people. They want to su support our children, but they don't know our community. They don't know the history. They don't know that this that that by by doing this, they are putting all this risk. Um, at a, 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 as well established um, local uh, community school such as Kennedy. So that's what this item is about. We need supporting the decision that our school board already made. What's going to happen is um, I think tomorrow the, the county board of education is going to look at an appeal of this um, and we need to make clear um, to the county that this matters to the city of Richmond um, and that we are on record on this because we are invested in making sure that our, all of our students, not just 200 of them at Kennedy, but all of them um, are doing well, and we've already invested uh, substantial resources in doing that. And we want to make sure that that investment's protected, but more importantly, we want to make sure that our kids are thriving, all of them. And I, I, I do want to quickly say here, I know that you know some folks, um, and I know there's probably some parents out here who are going to get up and speak and want this option for their kids, and I completely respect that. Um, but I, I, I need to be clear that our job, you know, parents, they have to look out for their individual child. Our job is to look out for the entire community and all of the kids. And if you have 200 of the most well-performing students diverted from Kennedy, the 600 who are left are going to have a worse education, no matter how you cut it, whether the school closes down or whether it stays open and has less funding. Those, 200, those 600 students that are left are not going to have as good education as they would have before. Um, I didn't need to take uh, Pacheco's Algebra 2 class to learn that for my Eagles out there. So 600 is more than 200. So we've got to make sure that we're protecting the investment we've made. We've got to make sure that we're protecting our students. And um, that's, you know, that's all this is about. And I hope we can pass this unanimously. Oh, one other, one other thing, too. Some folks are going to say also that, you know, what power do we have in this? The County Board of Education is going to vote on this. We only have one representative on that board. Um, so why would they listen to us? Um, you know, if I was uh, a member of the County Board of Education and an issue came to me um, related to, let's say, Pittsburgh, and the Pittsburgh, um, and the Pittsburgh uh, uh, school, school Board, as well as the City of Pittsburgh's City Council said, you know, we're against this for X, Y reasons, and this is going to affect our community, and these reasons, I would lean in their direction, understanding that I don't know as much about the community of Pittsburgh as they do. And specifically in this situation, um, the reason that the school board rejected this, uh, this charter school are very specific reasons that you really have to understand the community of West Contra Costa and you really have to understand the transportation needs of West Contra Costa to understand. So I hope that members of the school, of the county board of education who don't represent West Contra Costa will understand that the city of Richmond and the West Contra Costa school board do understand West Contra Costa, and it's really important that we all are on board in saying the same thing here, that we need to protect our students. So um, with that, uh, I, I know there's a lot of public speakers that we'll, we'll need to hear from, and um, I hope that this council can vote unanimously um, to support our students at Kennedy and protect the investment.